My name is Amy King, and I am a first year here at Atkinson, and my career focus is nonprofit management. And my name is Casey Morgan, and I'm a second year, and my career focus is finance. Well, I was in Azerbaijan from 2009 to 2011, and I was a youth development volunteer in Gorenboy, which was a small town about five hours from the capital. And there I did sports development for girls and technology development in the classroom, which was really great. And yeah, I really liked it. And I served in Nicaragua, also from 2009 to 2011, a small town west of the capital called VL Carmen. And I did small business development work, and I actually worked in high schools teaching an entrepreneurship class to uh, high school seniors, uh, much like the stuff we do here, which is you know advertising, inventory control. So it was really like a base level. You know, if you want to start a business when you graduate, what are the things you need to succeed? Well, we have this unique program here at Atkinson called PACE, and we get clients um, that are nonprofit clients, and we develop different strategies for them. And my PACE client was a youth mentorship program, and that was exciting for me because that's pretty much what I did in the Peace Corps. So um, I've taken my Peace Corps skills, such as project development and various, you know, being able to work without a lot of direction, you know. We had to do that a lot in Peace Corps. So being able to work with that direction has definitely been one of the biggest strengths I think that I've brought to Atkinson from Peace Corps. And so bringing that into being the project lead for our PACE class. Yeah, and I really enjoy the intersection between government, nonprofit, and for-profit sectors because, I mean, in today's world, you can't operate just in a for-profit sector or just in a nonprofit sector. And really, in my Peace Corps um, service, I got a base level understanding of how to teach accounting and how to explain accounting to people that maybe haven't had that experience ever. So really taking the knowledge that I gained here through strategy or marketing and be able to explain that to other people in the business community or other stakeholders uh, through the various parts of the business and really letting them understand what I'm going through or what these analysis mean, that has really helped me a lot um, through this process. Well, I have an internship this summer with Marion Polk Food Share, which is the local food bank. And what they do is they aggregate all of the all of the food for that is collected around the county, and they share it back out to um, like homeless shelters and and uh, food distributors for the needy. Needy. And what I'll be doing is developing a farm and garden program for youth. So it's right up my alley from what I was doing with the Peace Corps. And actually there was an AmeriCorps member and that as a hiring manager. And so he kind of really got into my Peace Corps experience. They were really interested in that. And so that's something that I was able to take into the interview and really uh, get a procured internship after. And after I hope to work in nonprofit management, but uh, we'll see, we still have another year. And I'm going to go to work for Intel, um, which obviously many of you know, a large Fortune 500 company outside of the Portland area. And this is really a 180 from what I thought I'd be doing when I entered the program. I thought I'd be going into nonprofit work or government work. But really, in this program, uh, studying finance and sustainability, which is one of the focuses I'd like to go into, um, these big Fortune 500 companies are really going to be pushing the envelope. Uh, in the couple years moving forward into what are sustainable practices, what does it mean to be green. Um, and if you can be able to run those numbers through finance, uh, that's going to be really important. So uh, that's where I'll be headed for the foreseeable future. Um, well, obviously I have kind of a knack for adventure. So I'm an East Coaster by birth. and. I had never been on the West Coast, so I kind of targeted my search to the West Coast, and I wanted a small community that I could really become a, par a part of, because that's really, you know, it's, it's been my wheelhouse for the last couple of years. And so um, Willamette provided that. You know, it's, all the, t the recruiters for Willamette really got to know who I was, and once I came here, everybody knows who I am, and I'm able to interact with people on a daily basis and really be a part of a community here. Yeah, and for me, I had a really tough time deciding what degree I should go for. I didn't know if it would be a master's in public policy or a, a master's in international development. And really, 
what the program offers here with the intersection of nonprofit, government, and for profit is. You get that MBA, and when you tell people an MBA, they really know what to expect. They know what you should be capable of. So you don't have to explain to them, oh, I have a master's in international development, but I'm focusing on this. So really, with the background in government, I can tell people, oh, I have an MBA. And that really goes forward with, OK, here's what this guy already knows. Now let's take it from here and really um, hone those skills in the job place. So that's, um, and I really wanted to stay on the West Coast. Um, I love Oregon, so uh, this was the perfect fit for me.